Thank you so much for tuning in. I knew that one day God was going to announce me to the whole world due to my genuine, sincere love for Ghana and the good people of Ghana. And then I was just hoping that one day it will happen. But the truth is, I didn't know how it was going to happen. I didn't know when it was going to happen. I did not know that God is on my side already. So finally, this girl you're looking at now is known by Buhari, Femi Otedola, Mike Adenuga, Alaji Alinko Dangote, and I'm known by so many great Nigerians across the whole world. Who placed me so high above my bullies? Ghana, my love for Ghana has finally paid off and i am excited to talk about it in this video even though i had wanted to ignore this and just go on with life because you know i've always said it on my channel here that then go cry tire cry lament tire no go here but you know what sometimes mm, it go to the to the hear some things because a lot of people don't they send me messages asking me oh lily what's going on don't be afraid are you worried do you need a lawyer do you need this do you need that what's the silence you're killing us why are you not talking about it i'm doing it for those people and for the fact that how am i what am i doing it for i'm doing it for so many reasons and of course for the content so what that means is please like this video and don't forget to share and like this video okay comment massively congratulate me because as you see me like this even david do is aware of me and who did it let me show you the proof it's a newspaper in nigeria one of the oldest most respected most popular newspaper in nigeria the one that is a must read by the president, governors, businessmen. They dedicated a whole column to Nigerian YouTubers based in Ghana. Eh? Oh yeah, make could dance small. Eh? Jesus, Edima, Edima, Edima. Do you think it's easy? This is what a lot of people pay so much money to get. I, yours sincerely, just got it. Just like that on a platter of gold just because of my sincere love for this amazing country called Ghana Mwah. I love you so much I'm going to read a few lines from this whole column dedicated to in honor of Nigerian youtubers living in Ghana let's start with the first one that says like this the columnist whose um, whose name is I'm reading it according to what it is. I'm saying this. Maybe I should not call his name because it's always at my comment section. Daddy, sir, I will not announce you. Ah, huh? you see that fame when you define? I'm not gonna give you. So I will not call his name. I'm just gonna read some of the lines in it. And even the newspaper, I will not mention their name. One of the media houses, one of the most respected newspaper, one of the most popular newspapers in Nigeria. So their name with hell. Because, yeah, why not? They want to use me. You want to you wanna use me to go international? No, sir, I'm not going to give you that. So I will not include the columnist's name in this video. Check. Nothing for free. If you want your name out here on my channel, sir, follow the due process. Pay me, make announce you to my international friends. All right? In the absence of that, nothing for you. But hold on, listen. The person say... My media career journey started about 40 years ago as a mass communication undergraduate of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. They are under no obligation to promote Nigeria's image. Patriotism is not, is not obligatory, though advisable. Number three says, if you degrade Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria has the right, you have the right to respond. Four, you have the right to respond. To respond. Four, number four says, there is a difference between constructive criticism and destructive criticism. It is advisable to know it. Five, it is advisable to know it. Number five says, five, though social media are, social media are comparatively present. The role and the role of the mass media subsists balance reporting, balance mirroring of the society. Who is going to read all this? 
I am a lazy Nigerian, sir. A lazy Nigerian youth do not rape. So, you know what I'm going to do? I fling that up and I'm going to assume. You know how we used to do it now? Just the same way you guys assume my videos through my title without sitting down to watch the video. So let's lazy together, sir. I hope you're ready for this laziness because this is exactly how you people react to my videos. You don't watch it. Eh? You just come and start ranting to the extent that you went to announce me to the whole universe. Giant of Africa, Nanja, you went to announce me, Abi. Ah, thank you. So I want to also be a lazy Nigerian youth. Mm? Right, so for those who are interested, you can go on the internet and look for a publication of one of the Nigerian newspaper or Nigerian YouTubers living in Ghana. But for me, I will not mention their name because to say I'm disappointed is the least. I mean, like this newspaper promoting bad behavior of Nigerians internationally. I mean, making life difficult for Nigerians living in Ghana. Yes, because whatever that columnist is targeting at is him telling a Ghanaian landlord to not give a house to a Nigerian because when you do if they commit any offense you have no right to complain because your people are also living in Nigeria so you should be responsible for whatever a tenant gives you a Nigerian youth living in your house whatever they do to you just take it uh -huh. So he's telling you, do not give them houses. That is what he's telling you. Who, who is the Nigerian youth in Ghana? I am one of them. You know, a young, struggling Nigerian, surviving, you know, who left home for a better life. I heard that we are more than four, four million documented Nigerians living in Ghana, plus the undocumented ones living in Ghana. This man and the newspaper is telling you dear landlords in ghana not to give us accommodation because they train us to just go out there and behave anyhow and because of course we are nigerians we are never at fault no matter what we do to you including we can rape your underage kids we can kidnap your wife if we want we can rob you if we want. We can stay in your house and do all sort of cyber crime. And we can as well live in your house and bring in men in and out day and night, make noise, play loud music, and just walk almost half naked on the streets. That is what he's telling you. So that is what he's saying to us, Nigerian youth, that that is what we should do in Ghana. So you have no right to condemn us. You have no right to criticize us. And so that is what he's saying. I hope that you understand it because I do. Now, that is the interpretation of it. So a whole newspaper from Nigeria, a respectable, popular newspaper, old newspaper, one of the oldest newspapers in Nigeria, sat down and support Oh my goodness, they support hatred, social media, they promote social media hate between Ghanaians and Nigerians on social media, through their print media. But you know what, in all of this, this is not me taking the article personal, okay? It's nothing, I'm not the only Nigerian YouTuber living in Ghana, but this man is constantly on my channel, leaving me comments, and he wants me, he badly wants me to see the write-up that he has made on their ancient newspaper that is almost, you know, that is warning out, because I believe by now, after this publication, the newspaper is gone. Because you have lost respect. The newspaper have lost its respect. I mean, with, with all the problems, with all the internal issues that Nigeria is dealing with, you had a whole, whole page dedicating to young Nigerians who are in another African country just because you hate where they are. You're jealous of their lives where they are. You feel like they are making so much money because I see that they continue to, they keep emphasizing on money, money, money. They believe we have made so much money, especially me, because I, I, they don't see me out there sleeping with men, looking for money, walking about naked, trying to feed my kids or return my children to the village. 
so they believe we are earning so much money and because of that they pull everything down so that we scatter the single mother on that table will fall by the time i scatter the table uh, that single mother will fall off and just follow the society rules for women <laughs> now wow you fail oh. now let me educate you a little for you and those millipedes youtubers nigerians that were in ghana that could not sustain their lives in ghana instead of them to return back to nigeria in peace because living in ghana is not for the faint-hearted instead of them to just move their kids and their families their husbands whatever and just go back to nigeria and leave ghana in peace they have decided to you know their exception with ghana won't let them to leave ghana alone they will continue to make to make condescending remark through their videos to spread lies they continue to spread hate they continue to do all sort of to cause problem between in fact i wouldn't say between to cause problems for nigerians living in ghana so we can come back and join the rest of them this is it so you want me to keep quiet so that these people continue to cause problems for nigerians living in ghana no sir I know the strategy you're using, but you won't get me this criticism. You see this truth. I am on it. I'm going to do it till I choose to not do it again, or probably do it until, until I achieve my goals, which is seeing Nigerians and Ghanaians on social media, because of social media, Nigerians and Ghanaians have no problem. Because as I'm filming right now, I am in Ghana and I do not have anyone harassing me because I'm a Nigerian. That is what you want to create. You want to put that light out there. The question is, are you people not tired? In Nigeria, you want to divide the country by all means. Now they bring that energy to other communities around us. And they continue to bully everyone and it's affecting those of us that work here, that earn a genuine living. So you don't want me to react, to deny them, to correct things, to put it that they're, they're not speaking on behalf of all Nigerians. They're speaking from their little minds. They do not in any ways represent Nigerians as a whole. That is what you're looking for, but I won't give you because I see that you guys are teaming up together. You say you are from wherever. Who cares? Like, I don't care where you, f you come from. As long as you come out here to represent Nigeria, by bullying other people by insulting people on social media in the name of nigeria you come you did not come alone with your name you brought the name of the entire country with you it means we hanging on your shoulders right i will scrape you naked in public by analyzing that video by making them know that you have a fish brain so if this is a strategy to bully me into silence it's not gonna work I'm not afraid. You already said I should sue you to court. Like, sue you to court, Biba. So, I don't know. Except we are going to the International Court of Justice. Like, me, sue you. You that is looking for how to, how to, how to, how to blow. Sir, I can't sue you. Start a YouTube channel today and blow by yourself. Don't use Mago Mago. So, I'm not going to let you blow. You see your name. I will not mention it. But, you know, you watch this video and if I were you, watch it to the end, all right? I have a new channel that I have created, teaching people how to create content. Instead of you trying to get it the short way, why don't you go there, subscribe, follow me there, so I can teach you. This is ridiculous. This is so, such a shame, and I am wishing that the newspaper sacked you. If you work with them, they should sack you, disassociate themselves from you for supporting social media war between Ghanaians and Nigerians. What a shame. Seriously, I am so disappointed, but it's okay. When it comes to some Nigerians, nothing surprised me. And there's another millipede that is going around with microphone asking... See, I don't like looking down on people, asking some street people, what do you think about Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana? You go cry tire, my sister. As you didn't succeed, you couldn't live in Ghana. Your husband or whatever, your baby daddy, whatever, pull you back to Nigeria because Ghana is not for the faint-hearted. So you couldn't live in Ghana. You want to do a pull-down syndrome, right? Because you couldn't leave. You want me to come. You go cry tire. Continue to do your street interview, asking them those ones... <laughs> Oh God, but you guys are cowards anyways, as usual.
you can't mention my name or mention this youtuber's name call their names they fear us now you have made a ten dollar to know me just like that eh you have made dangote to know me even the president of nigeria knows me now to all my subscribers that are worried about this do not be worried I have gained genuine fans from genuine Nigerians, responsible Nigerians, grown Nigerians, educated Nigerians, lovable Nigerians, God-fearing Nigerians. They are all on my channel and they are thumbsing me up. They are telling me I have not done anything wrong. So some of you that come to represent Nigeria because you have the power through the media, you have the resources, you have access, you will cry tire. You understand? Otherwise, focus on building our nation let it be great again use your influence as media personnel use your influence as journalists great jobs engage the youth help our youths because where nigeria is right now every youth needs to be engaged otherwise <laughs> i'm surprised that you left all the internal issues that god bless nigeria is dealing with and then you dedicate a whole page to young people making a genuine living in ghana for me if you like you see this channel you people are planning now you want to shut it down if you created this channel let me see you shut it down okay if you created this youtube channel for me i want to see you exercised by power by shutting it down and besides if you shut it down i will rise again and i will still do the same thing that i'm doing now i'll continue to do it no stopping all right you try to make the Igbo people think it looks like we hate the Igbos. Well, Ndibo, Ebenine, Anameke Negio, please, I do not hate you. Afambo Lillian, and I am one of you. My best friends in Nigeria, some amazing Nigerians that have shown me kindness in my life, both home and abroad, are all Igbos. So many Igbo people that will keep for me. They have shown me massive kindness, both on the internet and off the internet. I do not have any personal whatever for the Igbos. The only thing is that maybe some of the people that have made videos downgrading other countries, especially the country I live in, that I love, because they have not done any wrong to me or anybody and I see. They have allowed us, welcomed us into their land, especially people. So these Nigerians that will come to create these videos, maybe some of them majority of them happens to come from the east which is coincidence so when i'm criticizing them it doesn't mean i'm criticizing the Igbos as a whole for me personally as a nigerian one of the nigerian youtubers living in ghana i love the Igbos so much and i can't do without them you see this house i live in there is an Igbo woman and she's not just a woman or a neighbor she is my sister like everyone thinks she's my family member so how are we going to do it? When I get off here, I'm chatting with Amarachi. I'm chatting with Chichi all the way in America. So what are you saying? I do not hate the Igbos or disrespect Igbos. But if anybody makes a video, even if you are the son or daughter of Tinumbu, and you make a downgrading video towards Ghana or Ghanaians, because I live here and I have not seen them do that, I will correct you. I will put it out there that you are doing that in your name. So I hope you get it. So this strategy of you campaigning hate and importing, exporting bullies to continue to spring up is not going to work. You know, it has been, it has been a long time I have been on this Ghana topic. If you are wise enough and you are genuine, you are honest enough, you should be able to know that this has come to stay. This is not something that is going away soon. I have been accused, hey, you're faking your love for Ghana. You don't love Ghana. I've heard all that. But two years later, I'm still here, consistent and happy. I talked about a topic here on YouTube and I got so many people following me. And a lot of people that loves me, majority of them are Igbo. So they were telling me you should follow that niche. But I was not finding happiness because I felt like there's so much in Ghana that I have not talked about, I have not shown, there are places I have not shown, there are, there are topics I have, not, I have not treated in Ghana. So my heart was always here and I left all those views and the money to come and do what I love. You see this one? You know where they say we die here? Maybe that's. So continue to try hard, 
continue. This man said this this man says he has um, more articles coming. Thank you very much. I hope that you try to include our names because we deserve it. What is this? At least we are not doing kidnapping. We are not illegal. We are not out here disgracing Nigeria. We are good citizen, good ambassador of God bless Nigeria. So put our names, all right? Possibly if you want. I can send you a picture of mine or go there and screenshot one and use it. All right. Thank you so much. In all of this, I would have been so worried if my mother was a literate woman that could read and has access to this newspaper or a mobile phone. But my mom cannot read. She has no idea what I do. Though she know I do make YouTube videos, but she don't know anything if I've gotten elevated, if I've been promoted, just like, maybe I'll be like, oh, maybe she'll be worried that, hey, this man wants the world to hate me, you know? But I don't have anyone that cares about me that much. You see my mother, she has so many kids. She can do without me, all right? So even if she, I think even if she's literate, she wouldn't have been that bothered about me because already she can do without me. And of course, I can do without my mother too, just so you know. And I do not have any, anyone that has my interest at heart. The only people I know cares about me are my young children. And they know me very well. They know their mother will never bully anyone. I hope that this video meets us all well and that I will see you in another one. So please continue. I'm waiting for the Saturday episode. Tag me again like you did the last time. Ta!